Okay. Apparently my mic said screw you and decided, uh, or no, it wasn't even the mic, it was Streamlabs. Streamlabs said screw you and just changed my mic to a different thing altogether. So thanks Streamlabs, jerks. Anyways, um, so as I was saying, welcome to the first Pokemon Arceus on Sunday mornings. Uh, we used to play it Tuesday nights, um, but we moved it till Sunday mornings. Uh, and to give you guys some context, if you're just tuning in for the first time, uh, what's going on? Um, I've already beat the quote-unquote uh, game. Um, now I'm in the end game missions where we're exploring massive mass outbreaks, which are basically outbreaks of Pokemon where there are many of the same Pokemon. Um, there could be alpha Pokemon, there could be the evolution forms of that Pokemon. It's kind of insane. Uh, but we are going to go and continue on with the missions for that, which I just got to. Oh, did I already finish the missions? Oh, they're in the request. There we go. All right, so we're in the wrong area altogether. So we gotta go back to town. I also have somebody's satchel that I should give them back. Elray Talin, have your satchel. Hmm, I made new observations. Oh yeah, I caught Cresselia last time. There we go. So we got Typhlosion finished, Dialga finished, and now we got Cresselia up to level 7. Not a lot of points there, but that's okay. Nope, something's happening. Lemon! Hey, Lemon! Have you heard? There have been reports of a huge shadow appeared in Cobalt Coastlands, and then just vanished without a trace. Lemon, my boy, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What happened exactly? I fought him, because he's a jerk. I see. In that case, the shadow in the Cobalt Coastlands may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have been banished to the reverse side of our world. I do believe this calls for a survey. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. Aha! We can catch Giratina. What do you got, Ginder? Get some Ultra Balls. What else you got? I don't want bean cakes. Alright. So I'll check Ginter. I'll deposit whatever items I picked up into my storage chest. I picked up, not the ones that are in there. Perfect. I'll take the sticky ball out. I'm not sure why I had Pokeballs in here. Anything else that doesn't belong? Comet shirt. Mm, everything else looks good. Comet shards are pretty good money. Fifteen thousand dollars for one little thing. Away we go. Did 
living inside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Alright, so we gotta go to the Crimson Mirelands. And we're gonna go investigate massive mount massive mass outbreaks here. So now you guys will be able to see what these are all about. Um where's my request want me to go? Ah, there you are, my. Seems the massive mass outbreak you were investigating has dissipated. We may as well return to Jubilee Village and wait for another massive mass outbreak to, well, break out. Oh. Damn it, my. Let me return to my village. Alright. It's up here, though. I need it down here. Am I just gonna have to, like, keep going in and out, in and out, until one happens? I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. Unless maybe it'll rain. Oh, I hear rain. This is troublesome. It's kind of hard to do the massive mass outbreaks if there aren't any. Pretty sure I need a combi from the Myrlands though. Remoraid Island. Oh, that does sound more familiar. The only one with only two trees on it. Yes. Yeah, you're just gonna trudge ever so slowly. Stand still. Where is it? Where is it? But you're a male! You can't even evolve! Mm-hmm. 
right, there we go. Sadly, that did not count. But that's okay. We got quite a bit of items from that, so... It is what it is. So we'll go get a satchel. Alright, so there's a satchel around here. There we go. What are you doing over here? Are you the one gathering materials too? I guess the survey corpse must do an awful lot of crafting, just like we supply corpse members do. Gosh, when I think about it like that, I feel a sort of new kinship towards the survey corpse people. This newfound feeling of camaraderie makes me want to share something with you, like this. Here, a recipe for a delicious sweet treat. Old Gateau. Cool, I can make cake. Pokemon love old Gato too. If you make enough to share, you should try giving one to your Pokemon as a treat sometimes. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends if they deserve a treat. Don't want to get in all chubby. Like my kitty. All right, get that one. We'll go over here. We'll get this one. We'll do a reset. Let's see how that goes for us. Probably go to a different area that might help. Oh no, someone got murked by the Yan Mega. So, Star, have your satchel. I don't know who these other two are, but they can have their satchels back too. I got a long list. Alright. Oh, there's another one that popped up. I don't know if that was always there or... Gotta get them all. Get everybody there's items back. Alright, should be around here. I'm not seeing it though. because I'm a little bit too far up. There it is. Alright, that's it for this area. For now. Yes. Yes, we caught lots of combis. Three thousand dollars worth. A hole. Combi is finished. Twenty more points. Alright, 
Let's get rid of these. I need to make some more Pokeballs. So do that while we're here. Send Harriet back there. Satchel. Run over this way. Gib. Give me all your crafting materials. Twenty-seven. I want three. And twenty-three. Yeah. Now I have one hundred and fifty. I have forty-five of those. Take what I can get. Go check on our farm. Should have something for us. Oh hey, great timing. We're done gathering the harvest. Crops turned out real nice, just as planned. Here, these are yours for the keeping. 32 apricorns. Um Do a min harvest. Why not? I don't think I've done one. Do that. We'll go check the lady over here for the wisps because we picked up a few more. Maybe we'll get something cool. Thanks for helping me. We have 63 more wisps. We gathered 40 wisps. Nope. We gotta find six more for an extra reward. That is okay. Just follow the outbreaks, I guess. Go check out these spheels. Oh, they're like way over there. Okay. And then that's where we're going. Do you want an alpha kitty? Yes. Alright. Wrong buttons. Come on. safe. Come on, I'm trying to get to your bag. Just like that. Hey, you don't even have to fight it. There you go, blue.
There's some Peruglies down there. While I'm up here, I'm also keeping an eye out for wisps. Because eventually, I'm going to have to get them all regardless because of uh, the need to complete the Pokedex for catching Arceus. Oh, you're mad. Hydrate. Um. Do I have water? The sound didn't work again. I heard it on mine. Did you hear it that time? Hmm. I wonder if... Filters... That time? Better. Okay. Alright. So, I gotta go get water now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Forgot to go grab, grab water. Before I started. Alright. There you go, my dear. Water for blue. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a mad tokopi after me. Is it mad at me though? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad at me. I hit it with enough of these, look. Get in the ball. There we go. the spiel over no 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 oh I got lucky oh they fall there's an alpha around oh look at all them spiels Why are you hiding behind a rock? Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, this is how we're gonna... This is how we're gonna do it?
I don't really care for the spiel outbreaks because they seem to be literally... Oh, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? You okay there, bro? You're looking very pixelated. No, I don't want a fly ball. He's like literally right there. Yeah, the spiel outbreaks seem to be way spread out normally. Because they travel so far when they're rolling around. Just went up a tree. Look at it. What saw me? What saw me? Oh, hello. Moonblast. Show who's boss. Oh my god. I cannot hit the damn thing to save my life. There we go. Alright, we'll go and uh, catch that satchel. All in the name of science. And I'm being a decent human being. And somebody over here has another quest. Hello there, is this your first crack at the balloon race? Or maybe you've had a go at it before. Either way, why not team with the Pokemon and try out my fun balloon bursting game? I just need to burst as many of my adorable bo po balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. It's exhilarating, really. If you manage to burst, say, 24 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whether you feel like testing your skills in the balloon race. Oh. <sighs> Why do I feel like this is going to be hard? I'll give it a try. There's 40 balloons and I got to get 24. Oh, now they move? Not cool. I'm 
I'm not hitting that one. Also not hitting that one. That's a real drift loom. I really messed that one up. Also messed that one up. I didn't get to hit the last one. Damn you. So apparently I only missed five. You're so close to bursting them all. A little reward should help keep you motivated. Two bags of stardust. No thanks. And well you know, you beat my target of bursting 24 balloons. Well done, you. Oh, I got 10 ultra balls and a nugget. Nice. It was gripping watching you ride Pokemon with such skill. Keep challenging yourself to reach an even greater... Even greater balloon bursting heights. I will. Mm, got a couple of people over here that passed out. Hero Kai. Somebody else's name that I don't know what it says. And we got one. One over here. Okay, there's an invisible wall there. More invisible walls. Oh, I can't fly over the lava. Got it. I guess that makes sense. They don't want you to, like, just fall into lava and die. This is where that really big Gastrodon lives. There we go. Any more satchels out there? No. Nah. Turn back cave. Well, I'm here. I can try and do that Giratina one. I don't know. I want missions. Where was it? There it is. Find out the truth between the huge shadow and the cobalt coastlands. Well, that doesn't really help me. I'm gonna go check out that cave, because I, I have a feeling if anywhere, that's where it would be. Will we make it across the ocean? I don't know, we're getting awfully close to the ground. No! Oh, there's a wisp. Understand you're all very enthusiastic, but please. All right. Okay, we're gonna do the responsible thing and just save here. Something's in here, because I got a cutscene. It is Giratina. Uh, I'm 
assuming this is a fight. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> just staring you down, waiting until you let your guard down. It just wants to scare the crap out of you. Alright. I don't want to kill this thing. I'm gonna do one roar of time. Super effective. Alright. Perfect! That's just where I want you. No, you're gonna kill me, but that's, uh. That's a different story altogether. Items. and Giratina in this this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Cool! Well, that went faster than I thought it would. Hmm. Okay. So we'll fly up. And fly up. Take a look, peek around, see if there's any wisps floating around. I don't see any. Anything over here? Nothing? Wow. Okay. Any more satchels? No. And let's go talk to Leviton. And we will return these satchels. There you go. There you go. Danny Joe. Have your satchel back. Hero Kai. There you go. Y'all got your satchels back. Keep that on me to sell. Sort that. Sort that. Leviton! Let me tell you, I just caught the biggest snake ever. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the ten Temple of Sinnoh. He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Hisui after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should try to study it and add it to the Pokedex. 
He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our com completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. That's because uh, I caught him already, man. So you got 14 Pokemon! Yes, do it. Two Alphas, a bunch of Sfeels, Sfeelio, I think that's what its name is, Giratina, Apom, and a Growler. Two Alphas caught, seven with a backstroke. He's already level seven, what did I use Shadow Force? Hmm. Nice. That one will be easy to complete. So what would you like to do now? Return to the village. Maybe, just maybe, the game will cooperate with us and give us a massive mass outbreak in the Crimson Ireland's, and then we can continue on with what the original purpose of doing this was. Look at that! The game likes us. I just needed to go somewhere else and do a little bit of other things, and then it was like, hey, I'll hook you up, don't worry. Alright. Let's go, my. Whatever this all means, pa please investigate three massive mass outbreak locations in the Crimson Maryland so we can compare these outbreaks to those we found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I don't. Okay. So, we need to go to our requests. Need that. Apparently, I only need to do one. Um, blue, any uh, particular spot? Very top of the map, up here. All right, in the shrouded rooms, or I think that's what that's called. The names. Away we go. So glad they included these ride Pokemon. Traveling around would be a nightmare. Was that a shiny? It's a shiny. No fucking way. kill it. I, I want... I want just straight up. Come on, be nice. Hey! That's awesome! I love that. Woo! 
Alright, Blue, where are we going next? You got the good luck pick. Alright, alright, that's where we're gonna go. Oh, I only needed to get one done. Okay. Four if I'm lucky. Is this a Paris outbreak? I think so. Yeah, Paris is kind of boring. Let's, um... One down. All right. One down. He tried to shoot me with some weird stuff. I don't appreciate that. Uh, I don't think this is it. Copy that down row? It's up. So it's up here. The combis? No. Is it up on the top of that hill? Like, where the hell are these things? Yeah, I, I don't know where that one is. Oh, you know what? It's probably inside the cave. Probably why we can't find it. Alright, we're going for it. It's a bunch of sligoos. I think that's what they're called. with that attack. Whoa! Yeah, so the wolf, you can come up. Come on. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were jumping right away. These guys are not so easy to... Oh! Yeah, we're gonna go to the Golden Lowlands. We're gonna go as fast as we can. Crow gunks. Any more? Any more? No. 
okay. We're gonna hustle over to the Scarlet Bog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might not make it over there in time, but we're we're gonna try. Oh, that's a big tangrove. thing about this area is there's not a lot of grass to hide in. Oh, it's a buddy outbreak. That's kind of fun. You're coming home with me, and you are, and you are, and you are. Last one. Whoa. Chill out. Hey, stay in the ball. All right, and there we go. All in all, best run ever. Yeah, we got a shiny. Is it like the best one ever? No, but like, I'm still happy with it. Oh, Steelix is pretty good, but I don't know. Can you evolve him into Steelix in this? Yes, okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Steelix is pretty banging then. Alright, my. What do you gotta say? Oh, Rita! No! Here you finished your investigation in the Crimson Mirelands. Well done, Lemon. Rita is here to help us. Please, no. What happens twice will happen thrice, or so they say. Massive mass outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well. So I've been discussing the issue with Arita. Why don't we demonstrate to her what we what has been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastland next. Ah yes, Munchlax, I know what's been keeping you busy is eating. Don't worry, you'll get your berries. <laughs> But I still wonder, what lies beyond behind Munchlax's strange reaction to eating agua berries? The shitty part is he didn't find any of the berries. I found eight of them, I thought. How does he know which Pokemon are gathering where during a massive mass outbreak? Uh, he's a genius. Clearly, perhaps. Hopefully our investigations will shed some light on this mystery. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about massive mass outbreaks myself. I knew the leader of the Pearl Clan could help us. Mysterious going-ons in Vastasui pique my interest after all. And on top of that, we're friends. I'll always come if you ask for help. Since when? We'd seen each other around before, but after talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. And we decided we'd help each other out, despite being from different clans. Anyway, that's how I got involved with the investigation in the coastlands. I heard from Iskan and Lena that they'd both seen something that was like a massive mass outbreak. But stranger. What are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Arita? Well, I wonder what about about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's some shift in space because of Mighty Palkia's appearance. 
I'd certainly be glad to have more Pokemon around. It would help the Sui flourish. But it's too early to conclude it. It's all for the best. Or the strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'll be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet out in front gates when it's time to set out on our next investigation. Deal. Yeah, um, let's see. I'm curious, how many do I have? Yeah, I got 33 of those. I got lots. Alrighty. Um, Leviton. I caught 28 Pokemon. Give me some money. With their nice, shiny, um, onyx. Yeah, I'm not sure if I do or don't. I'm gonna take a look. He's level 10. They're level 10. We're making some progress. How the MMO is going? Um, fantastic. Hold on. We're gonna go to the village, and I'm gonna show you our latest uh, treasure, or our latest MMO find. Blue is like the genius of MMOs. That might be a very high title, but that's what I'm, I'm calling blue. You munchlax. Look at that. Look at that shiny onyx. Yeah. You're not legendary, you're not alpha. You're a shiny. Yeah. And actually now, we're just going to replace Star Raptor for a second. We're going to see if we can evolve him. need to get a metal coat. Let's see, do I have a metal coat in here? Uh, I don't think so. I got an oval stone, right, it's rank, reaper cloth, protector, upgrade, peak cloth. Yeah, no, I don't got one. So, can you evolve without trade in this one? Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I think you just give the Pokemon the item, and then it's good. Unwieldy armor. Oh, you got the mechanical pinwheel. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, or you need a new item called the trade cable. Okay. I need to get that mechanical pinwheel. This lady? Uh, I want to get items. Ah, metal coat. Don't I need a link cord for it as well? Well, okay. Well, we'll we'll try just putting the we'll try putting just the metal coat on them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, shiny Steelix. Like a, a brass color instead of silver. Love it. Or gold. 
either way. Fantastic. You, you want to see Steelix? Level 62, so maybe Star Raptor can take a retirement break. Uh, or maybe somebody else. Uh, probably Dialga. Legendary. You can sit with all the other legendaries. Where's Azelf? I don't think I sorted through this last last time. So I, I have a feeling Azelf's buried in here somewhere. Or Mesprit. Whatever this one is. Do you know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 equal the same? You're funny. <laughs> 10 plus 10 equals 20. And then 11 plus 11 equals 22. But it's 22, not 22. <laughs> Uh, that that is a good one. I do enjoy it. <laughs> oh, and we also caught Giratina Lenoki. So there's that as well. That's the best time for these kind of jokes. Yeah, because you're too tired to actually think of what the actual answer is. So you're just like, I don't get it. And then it's explained. All right, my, no, that's Tsumugi. I want my, I also want to get rid of these. Next stop of our investigation is to look for the massive mass outbreaks in the Cobalt Coastlands. Thanks, as always, for all the help. Alright then, let's set off for the beachside camp. Are you ready? Let's do it! Oh, not you. Garrick. Go away. What a fine surprise meeting you two while out fetching supplies for our settlement. Kalaba filled me in. You're looking into mass outbreaks that happen during train storms. Well then, I'll tell you what I recommend. Sticky gloves. Yes, I should grab some of the berries. Hitting a Pokemon with a sticky glove will slow it right down. I bought the recipe at the Craftworks myself by request of the settlement. I better get back to the Iceland. It's not that it'll take much time with these well-trained legs like these. Interesting, the Pearl Clan is recommending the Galaxy Team's Sticky Gloves. Right then, let's off for the Beachside Camp. Let's go! Gonna get those Pokemon. It seems we have arrived in time to catch another massive mass outbreak. Remember Garrick's advice, perhaps those sticky gloves could be a big help. Now then, let's begin our research. You can let me know if you wish to give Munchlax some Agua berries as well. It will grant you a bit of insight into the Pokemon gathering in these massive mass outbreaks. Alright, let me go. Let me go. Nope, wrong way. This way. 
We gotta hurry. I'm on a time clock. All right, my. Thanks to Munchlax, you can tell which Pokemon have appeared in the massive mass outbreak. I forget, does that indicate that it's a shiny? No. No, just that it's a special one. Oh, that it's a special one. Okay. So something special will happen to it. Okay. Either, uh, it could be shiny, it could be an alpha orb, it could be the one that changes from regular to the above. Ah, that's fair. That's right. Oh, we're gonna go with that one. Ah, I like the idea of that. Do the magic air one? Oh, up at the top? Yeah. So do the tentacle? Or tentacle, or whatever the hell these things are called. Oh my god, these things are gonna kill me. Oh, run away. It was homing on me. Well, there goes my money. Okay, um, you know what? We're gonna go get Magikarps. Because, uh, at least Magikarps don't try to murder you. Sorry? Uh, that's fair. Yeah, Magikarps don't try to kill you. What's it gonna do? You splash? Oh no, I'm already in the water. Please, don't get me more wet than I already am. Oh, tch. Dive bombing into the ocean. Um, it's supposed to be magic carps, not freaking gear doses. wants me to catch this one. No! Pop back up, you fish. I hate water Pokemon! I don't know, this thing's hunting me down. I'm 
No, it still said no. the hard way, I guess. Oh. Steelix. I'm sorry. You died. Yeah, I realize that now. I kind of know what I'm doing. I don't know fully. All I can tell you is I definitely hate trying to catch the Pokemon that are in the water. I'll just get out of the way of that. Guys. Okay, you know what? I'm not. No. No. Nope. 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 No more water. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going. Oh, no. I, I, I marked the. Yeah, we'll go for Prend Club. Well, Tokipi might be good too. But, those water ones, they're going to be the death of me. Oh well, yeah, they already were, that's fair. Okay. So, some good old... Yeah, but at least I can frickin' dodge. Oh, that's the homing one. Get in the ball. Nope. Run. I don't exist. All right, these things are like hyper, hyper aggressive. Yeah, had a good run. It's not going so good anymore. <laughs> Good at this. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Yeah. What I really wish was that the targeting. Are you serious? Get in the damn ball and stay in there. Thank you. Yeah, I wish that the uh, the cycling buttons weren't um, directly above your throw and whatnot. This is just how we're gonna play, I guess. Oh. 
this damn Pokemon. Oh, I'm getting so mad at these things. Done with print clubs. You know what doesn't fight you? Starlies. Or maybe Tokapis. I'm gonna try Tokapis. So freaking frustrating. I don't think I've completed a single one. Hell's attacking me. All right, now now I'm in the clear. Jeez, just get in the balls. That, that's all I ask. Just, just don't don't fight. Stay still. All right. Um, these guys are close. Never mind. It is over. So, it appears that water Pokemon are the bane of my existence. Doesn't matter if they're on land or in the sea. They just don't want to be caught. Which is fine. But screw you guys. All right, my. Beach side camp. I got a couple of those berries, which is pretty good. All right, so how do you move these things around? Is it my favorite? Aha! That's immensely, immensely useful. Okay. 
that is okay. No sorting. Yeah, things go back to how they normally are. That's alright. We caught 12 Pokemon Labaton. We got three of all the things that tried to murder me and a bunch of Togepies. Talk to me. Oh, so talk to her in the town? Oh, now. Got it. No, I don't want to go back to the village. Damn it. Hey, look at that. I got lucky. It's either that or the game's like, dude, you only got one last time? That's pathetic. Here, let us help you. Oh, yes. Yes, I actually really would like to move those right there. Alright, my and Munchlax. What do we got going on? Alright, we have Growlithe, we have Magbees, we have Vulpix, Magmars. I want Growlithe's. They give berries. And Gralis is probably one of my favorite Pokemon, so that's where we're going. Which one's the shiny? Oh no, it's the Drapion. No, 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 I don't want to fly. You're the shiny. I was gonna say, isn't the big guy shiny? Yeah, yeah, he is. You ain't running away. I don't know where you think you're going. Haha! -ha. That's two shinies today. What a day. Got them shiny eyes? Yeah. Is that another shiny? Or is that what it normally looks like? Yeah. Ah, damn it. I mean, yeah. Like... No. Come on. Get in the ball. Ooh. It's 
throw a Pokemon. Okay. One on six? <laughs> it's one on five. Still. Uh, that's true. They are poison and Steelix is steel, so there's a good chance that this is just going to end up being a, a capture spree. One right after the other. Oh, that's true. They have no idea what to do. They can't damage me. Uh, where's that Mercuro? I know. Mercury was caught. smooth yeah because they're gonna start spawning up again Looks like I got a tumblestone too from the fight. Nice. Two tumblestones. Something saw me. Unless that was just. Nope, something did see me. They're gone. All right, we're going to Growlithe now. This is like incredible luck day. Two shinies. Oh, there's a there's a wisp. Once we're done this. Okay, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get over there without these guys getting on my case. Probably just like that. No. Oh, he used rock throw. Okay. This probably isn't going to go as well as last time, but... Oh, that was my guy coming out. Got it. Oh, I'm aware. As I said, it's not going to go as good as last time. I know! I know it's weak to fire. I just didn't want to get murked by Growlithe. Mm, how 
that we send out. Cresselia. You're a fairy Pokemon. You should be okay. Hmm. Growlithe was caught. Where are all these rocks coming from? We're on a cliff. There's nothing but sky above us. And these rocks are just falling from thin air. So I did get a response from the bookstore. They said that they will train staff better, but I might want to order my manga online from now on to get a crisp cover with no security tags. Well, hey, at least he got a response. She actually told me not to shop in store. <laughs> That all? No, that wasn't. Okay, good. All right, there we go. Uh, I think we're gonna go for Vulpix. I'll check out regular books in store and order my manga online from now. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's still kind of shitty to, to begin with, because that, that's basically like a... Um, oh, we're not going to change anything kind of response. But... At the same time... It's at least something. Where'd they all go? Why'd you guys all come this way? You guys are very skittish. like to run away. Not getting away that time. Like, do I need to catch these? No, I just, I really want to. Alright. Got those ones, got those ones. I thought there was a couple more over this way. Over this way. Oh, is that one? No, those are roses or something. There it is. There we go. 
get the shiny box? Where's the shiny box? Wrong way. This way? This way? No. It's on the beach. Ah, I see it. Salt cakes. We'll get some pop pods over here. Blue says to get this. Ultra Ball, it's pretty good. All right, we'll take a rest. Talk to Mai. Where's Mai? Mai, there you are. Seems the Survey Corps really does get the job done. I'm glad I asked for you, asked you for help. I'm also glad we get information from the Pro Clan more easily now. I've gotten even more information from the Survey Corps offer, my <laughs> Professor Laventon and I have been researching these massive mass outbreaks too, Captain Cylon's orders. I'd be grateful to hear anything of it that you've discovered. I'd be happy to share. I just have one little request first. Lemon battle me, please. What? I need to train more in order to become an even greater member of the Survey Corps. I'll be waiting for you at the Ginkgo, at Ginkgo Landing. I'm taking this seriously, so I hope you do too. You're interrupting our research just to have a battle? Hmm, the straightforward passion. The straightforward passion of the young, most admirable. My god. Moving all the stuff in here. Yep. Okay. Where's Ginkgo Landing? All the way over here. I suppose I could actually put this on. There we go. The ones in the water. Hey, Spiel. I said, get in the ball. Okay, I hate water Pokemon. I hate them all. You'll have to battle me if you want to learn more about the massive mass outbreaks. How childish. I'm derailing a whole 
information thing. I murk you now? Yeah. At least that's my hope. You've solved a lot of problems for us since you fell from the sky, but I still have more Survey Corps experience. I need to prove that you can depend on me. No, I think it's K. Your Clefairy looks kind of purple. Okay, well, let's... Bicycle crash. Okay, that works. Dare attack going for the throat. Oh, even better. You used a strong style quick attack and still went first. Damn. All right, Steelix. Stealth route. Not very effective. my thing to sleep. Ow! Go to fusion. Actually, screw it. We're just going to use a regular one. Murder him regardless. Grottle? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and of course. Pikachu. Well, that hurt. I'm still stronger. What incredible strength. I'm proud to call you my protege. Or are you now the protege? I've been, like, stomping your ass every single battle we have. You're incredible, Lemon. I want to become strong like you. If I could become a worthy opponent, then I know I could do the Survey Corps proud. Big eye. Pikachu, you understand how I feel? If we can understand each other, that means Pikachu and I really can get stronger. And I think we'll start by sharing a nice big plate of potato mochi. There you go. Go go have some food. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you what I came to tell you. Yeah, that's right. Derailed a whole expedition for a battle. We think Pokemon are gathering around lingering chases of energy left behind by the space-time route. But we need to investigate more to learn how those energy traces relate to the rainstorms. I don't understand a word you're saying, but it sounds like you know what you're talking about. I promise I'll become a worthy opponent to you, Lemon. One you can depend on when you want to grow stronger yourself. I'll see you later, Mai.
I like the Survey Corps. It's good to see young people so passionate about their cause. All right, next, we visit the Coronet Highlands. Or at least that would be the plan, but I've yet to hear a single sighting of the massive mass outbreaks in the Highlands. I have seen one. If and when we do hear of any sightings there, we'll meet up at the Highlands camp. Let us go. Get in the ball. You too, get in the ball. And you. And you. I said you. And you. these guys all these materials away sort sort talk to the professor we caught 33 Pokemon one more shiny That's a little bit disappointing. The shiny for that one is like barely discernible. Mm-hmm, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Yeah, finish full picks. Mr. Mime, Star Raptor, Glam Meow, perfect. 580 points, which gets us our next star level, which is fantastic. Which means we are going to get more money. Hydrate from blue. We have hydrated. Right out with the security course escorting us. It'll be a nice safe trip back to Jubilee. I don't know about that. You made that sound pretty ominous. It's like something's going to happen. Alright, so let, let's check this out. Because I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. Where are they? I gotta do another... Another move on everything here. Okay. So that's our shiny. And that's the not shiny. And it's just darker. Kinda looks like they're holding hands. Where's the scissors? On your desk. Where? Right. 
They're not for you. I concur with Blue. Who the fuck makes a bag of chips you can't open? Mm. There you are. Stupid chips. I'm gonna have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our star rank so we can get uh, paid a little bit more. Hi there, we got some great stock in at the moment. Here's all the goods we got right now. Mm, I like sticky gloves. Serious claw, I'll take it. Lightning bolt rock, I'll take it. Okay. I'll be right back, my you just you just wait there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's Kogita! I've just been told of the foul plan Volo had concocted. Well, think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. But what of you? Are you making progress with your, what do you call your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? It's been going alright. Pretty good. Indeed, well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you like to hear about? Whoa! Ah yeah, Tornadus. In every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms as it goes. When a blizzard batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus might be about. Now Thunderous, as it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. When a rainstorm lashes the Cobalt Coastlands, Thunderous may be about. Ah yes, Landorus, the Pokemon hailed as the guardian of the fields. It may see, it seems it can be glimpsed in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me. Okay. Interesting. I know not why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps the cause lies within the space-time rift, or simply with their own whims. I suppose the stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you aplenty, but nature has need of such things. If you wish to know more, you best study the Pokémon for yourself. When you complete your entries in your Pokédex for Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous, come and speak with me. Okay. That's kind of cool. They're not my favorite le legendaries, but uh, they are interesting. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Give me my 8 star. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Bam. I think I might have some more quests to stream. Yeah, I think so. With this, you have officially attained the rank of 8 star in the Galaxy T Expedition team. You can now use Jet Balls. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now. Have these as well, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. I can craft Jet Balls. And four restores. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. I will not. Alright, 
my Lemon, I have something important to discuss with you. I just heard an odd rumor. I believe it may be the key to unlocking the mysteries behind the massive mass outbreaks. You must first acquire ten mushroom cakes, then bring them to the secret hollow in the Alabaster Icelands. I call this my tricky treat strategy. I'll be waiting for you in the Alabaster Icelands, in the secret hollow. Mushroom cakes. Hmm, do I have mushroom cakes? I have two. Okay. So, how do I make mushroom cakes? I don't think I bought that pinwheel. Nah, I didn't. That's sad for me. It'll pop up eventually. I haven't even seen a Rotom, so it doesn't really matter, but... It'd still be nice to have all the stuff there. Alright, mushroom cakes. Make another five. How do I make the bases? Or do I have to buy the bases? I think I have to buy the bases. Just in case this gives me some insights as to what these are actually for. Should be enough for the quest. I'm gonna run away. Gonna move all those at once. Do that. Get out of here. Open this up. Pick those up. Put that there. Two. The Icelands. Bum, bum, bum. What are you? Ah, just the person I've been waiting for. My Kio Kio wandered off to go play, but they haven't come back yet. Do you think you could help me find them? Oh, sorry. I'm back home in Alola, Vulpix are called Kio Kio, you see. Ken Ken. Hmm, oh, did you get to go? No, did you not go to play with the rest? It's Alolan Vulpix. This is what an Alolan Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them all just by myself would take ages. And I'm still missing five of them. What? Should you be able to find my Vulpix playing around the avalanche slopes, could you find them all and tell them to come back? Alright, what was this place I was supposed to go to? The Secret Hollow. Well, that, that's where it wants me to go. I don't know why I need to pin that. It has a big freaking marker right there. Keeping an ear out for any little tinglings.
that Stantler was walking real weird. Alpha Sneasel. Mushroom cakes. Will you wait for my? I will wait. Yeah, dude. I'm wearing like short sleeves and jogging pants, basically. Did you bring me the? Did you bring me the ten mushroom cakes? Yes. Hee hee hee, well done. Mushroom cakes and some quality ones of that. Now we're just getting started. Leave the rest to me. You can return to Jubilee Village. I'll share how successful my strategy was when I'm finished. You had me come all the way out here just to give you some cakes. You couldn't buy the cakes while you were in town. The shop makes them. You could have just bought them from the shop. But no, I had to buy the lure bases, craft them myself with my hard-earned goods, just bring them all the way over here, which you could have done if you bought them from the freaking store in the first place. Lazy. And I'm gonna go catch some. I don't know, something. I don't want to leave empty handed. That is a memo swine. What's over here? I don't think I've really looked at this area over here. Pretty sure I came over here for a quest and then I just ignored it after that. Oh, you don't want to play. Okay. You don't have to play. Oh yes, this is the area with the uh, Alpha Gardevoir. Try it again. That would be a no. We're going to cut our losses and just run away. Um... We have not looked down here at all. Mistaken. I believe this is where you can get Chansey and Blissey. Yay! 
you tone the hell down? Hey, I said tone down. Yeah, Chansey. Like a tongue. It's like a a big chancy with its tongue hanging out of its mouth. It kinda is. Mysterious tunnel. Iron chunks. I'm not here. I see floaty, glowy eyes. Oh, that's a frost lass. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to chance it? No, no, no. I'm not here. I'm not here. Turn around. Go away. Nope. I'm still not here. That's a honestly a shock. All right, well. All right, so pardon me. I will be right back. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a wisp. That's a Garchomp. I definitely do not want to mess with that. Although I could get lucky. No such luck. Aha, but that's what I was after. There you go, Linoki. Get it? No. There's the other one. Just over there. Gotta be a little sneaky. Cause they uh they like to run. Oh, there's one of the Alolan ball fixes. Time to go home. Oh. 
Chanseys and Blissies are ridiculously hard to catch. I feel like those ones you definitely need the Gigaton Balls for. that wisp and there's a vulpix up there how did you get up here there you go and that's two of them well I'm here so What is it called? There's no way we'll pick some of this now. Ah, oh, you don't even tell me where they are. I mean, that makes sense, but... Damn. That's a gear chop. He's gonna get mad at me. That's okay. He can get mad. Oh, I saw one. I think there was five in total. same area. I'm just not positive how big that area actually is. Yeah, because I, I don't think they're out of here anymore. Oh, there's another Blissey. go blissy caught okay yeah so I feel like it would be basically cut off in between here and here I will check up on the slope here but Yeah. Um. 
Against my better judgment, I'm gonna go in here. Because maybe there's one in here? I didn't really go inside inside, so... You never know. Not seeing it, if it is. Mysterious. There's one. So that should be four. Go on home. Go on. Yeah, one more remaining. Oh, and there it is. Blissy the cutie. You're so excited about the Blissy. It's almost like it's like one of your favorite Pokemon or something. Look at all the ones you got. Thanks for helping me search for them. They're all back safe and sound. Do I get, I get to keep one? Amazing. If it is all right with you, could you take this little one with you? I'm certain it'll help with your survey work. Hell yeah. Come on. We'll be here at the Snowfields camp for a while and I'd love if you'd stop by from time to time and show me how Vulpix is doing. Sick. Oh, what's going on? Lemon! What do you want, Leon? I had a visit from Melly. He came all the way just to boast about giving you some Aguav berries. He said you lit up with so much joy that your smile nearly split your face. I can't imagine that was the case. I'm sure it was a confused grimace or a smile you merely forced yourself to give him out of pity. But I still can't let myself be outdone by him. So I've been looking for you all over Hisui. To give you this, my very own reward to you. It is naturally far superior to anything Melly can offer. <laughs> Dirty Agua berries. Oh, nice. Oh, and I did see one of those massive mass outbreaks on my way here to find you. I wonder if they might be caused by the geology of the place where they occur. Perhaps there is some mysterious kind of stone in the ground which draws Pokemon near. Oh, and I had a message for you. From Mai. She'd like to meet you in Jubilee Village. Back in Jubilee. Okay. Yeah, she's been waiting there for you. Good morning, Hawthorne. How are you doing? Though I suppose it's more accurate to say that she's been chatting away with Sumugi from the Security Corps about Bidoof. As for me, I think I may be visiting the hot springs since I come all this way. To be careful, any mass massive mass outbreaks you head back. Strong Pokemon might appear. Waking up, how about you? Uh, I feel like I'm doing the same. Can't. I'm having a hard time reading. But all in all, pretty good. We caught uh, two shiny Pokemon today, which is um, a 200% increase from normal. My cat is losing his mind. Uh, we got the illustrious Steelix. Nice big gold boy. 
And uh, we got Dra Drapion? Uh, what, what the hell is the thing called? Move them into the shinies. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Yeah, Drapion. The guy with the little things that stick out of his head. Your Pokemon catching efforts are quite clearly bearing fruit. How about a report? Mm, got a decent mix. 8,866 dollars. Oh, it seems like you made new observations. So we finished Vulpix, finished Bergmite, caught Crosslass, Ralts is complete, Mistrevious is complete, and Blissey, I just caught it, so... Alright, let's go back to the village. Maya's waiting on us. Oh, there you are. My, my, what's on your mind? Uh, mushroom cakes that you're too lazy to buy and made me craft them and then run them all the way out there for to you? Like, you know, what in the world are you talking about? Mushroom cakes and strategies. Munch? Come to think of it, Irida also came up to me with an odd request. She asked me for hearty grains, so I gathered some for her. Could there be some Pokemon taking the guise of people to stir up mischief? None of this is why I called you here, mind. I meant to tell you that a massive mass outbreak has been reported in the Coronet Highlands. The next step in our research is to investigate the Coronet Highlands. Let's see what we can find. If you're ready, shall we set out to investigate? Very good. We should start out from the Highlands camp then. Sounds to me like there's a ditto wandering around. Now then, let us continue our investigation into these outbreaks here in the Coronet Highlands. Lemon! And my, it's Sabby! Something wrong? I hurried here because of a vision and because of a vision my clairvoyance showed me. Some poor soul was running for their life from a bunch of alphas. I just barely saved them. It's as I feared then, the massive mass outbreaks are really growing out of hand. Lemon, we must endeavor to find the truth behind why they keep happening. Big packs of Pokemon might not be much trouble if you got a trusty partner, but if you don't, eep, I'm scared about thinking about it. You did well to save that person, Savvy. You're a fine protector as any lord or lady Pokemon. Thanks, my, if my clairvoyance shows me anyone else in trouble, I'll do my best to save them too. Just be careful while you're out there, okay? She's right, I know how strong you are, but we should move with caution here. I'm afraid to go and do this. I'm gonna have like a pack of alphas on me. They're gonna be like, mmm, you look like you got tasty bones, and then just eat me. No, I want you to tell me what you know. Give him the berries. Not my bones. Not my bones. Alright, let's put that away. Oh, there's a Dart Trix mass outbreak. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Chingling, Bronzor, Yanma. Well, let's, let's let's go with the Dartrix one. 
They're going to be hyper aggressive. They're not going to let me near them. I'm going to get eaten. They're going to murder my face at least once. Okay. I also hate how far away from the freaking grass they are. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Get caught. Get caught. Dodge. Hit you with the ball. No. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you charging out. We are having a Dark Souls moment. Whoa. Oh. This is not good. I touched you. How did that hurt? Get in the ball. Come on. Be friends. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Using the stronger balls. What the hell is oh, that's the Okay. Okay. Suian uh, Decidui. Looks like a roadrunner. Oh, caught him. Caught that one. No, I don't want to dodge towards him. What the hell's wrong with you? Get him the ball. Be happy. I'll throw rotten acorns at you. Thank you. Alright. Um, I'd like something a little bit easier than that now, please. Gibble? Okay. I think Gibbles are aggressive too, but we'll find out. Let's go Gibble some Gibble! Sneezer. Here. Just 
you know, casually climb the mountain. Where's a grass patch? Grass patch. Oh, you wanna, you wanna start like this, okay. Alpha 2? for days. Problem is I don't have fly balls for days. <laughs> How's your day going? I don't know. Just getting assaulted by Pokemon on the regular. Get in the box. There's no ground moves. Hmm. I'm oh, not Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna fight. But I want. Yeah, I want that one. down a little bit. What? I don't agree with how they changed the sleeping mechanic in this game. So instead of it being your Pokemon's asleep for four to five turns, um, now it works like paralysis where it could miss its turn because it's quote unquote sleeping. I don't like that so much. It's like if you rest, you shouldn't be able to use rest again until after you wake up. Cool. 
Although, look at those berries on the ground. No. No. Come on. No ground moves. Ah, but can you fight a flying Pokemon? Just get in the ball. I'll feed you. Keep you in a box. Okay. Air slash. Let's go. Air slash again. Great ball. There we go. Alright. Rainstorm ended. That's okay. That fight took way too long. Buddy's coming over here. He wants to have a fight. We're gonna go behind him and be like that. And there we go. So we have one left to investigate here in the Cornet Highlands, which is fine. Seems the massive mass outbreak you were investigating has dissipated. I may as well return to Jubilee Village and wait for another massive mass outbreak to, well, break out. Sounds good to me. Although I did get 10 berries from those uh, Gibble and Gabites, which is nice. Because I spent 5 and I got 10 back. Look at all those dart tricks and gibbles. Caught three for the first time. Four different species. Seven with backstrike. We've completed gibble. We've completed dart tricks, which is nice. Decidui, we still got a few to go. Same thing with the Gabite. Steelix, I got a little bit of progress on him, which is cool. Three hundred points towards my next star. We're gonna go back to the village. And there we go. Dun -dun. Did I deposit my items? I did. We we're gonna go and sell the comet shards or whatever the red ones are. Star pieces, that's it. 
sell those for fifteen thousand dollars. I don't have enough shards or anything to make more of them, so that's all right. Uh, but we will do a small amount of setup. I need I need a few more of these. All the Pokeballs, yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna make ten jet balls. We're gonna make ten wing balls. Two of those. Uh, we have 16. Can I make 14? I can make 12. That's good enough. Through so many of these damn things. One fifty-one. One for every Pokemon in the OG Pokedex. Alright. Blue says save game. We save game. Uh, we are also going to just briefly. Hmm. Nobody streams on Sundays. Like, damn. All right. Well, that's going to be it for uh, tonight or today. Man, I'm so used to streaming at night on Sundays. This is weird for me. That's it for this morning. Uh, we're going to be back tonight uh, at 8.30 p.m., 9 o'clock, uh, probably 8.30 p.m., though, uh, Eastern Standard Time for Phasmophobia with Skelly and Linoki and maybe Magic. Maybe, maybe they're back. Maybe they're back. Good night, <laughs> you guys. Uh, either way, though, enjoy your day. Go have lunch. Go... Go do something fun. And uh, we'll see you back tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be starting Super Paper Mario, which I'm kind of excited about. So if you're interested in that, uh, 8.30 a.m., you can catch us doing that as well. Have a good one, guys.